Hello, I'm Alina and this is Sense of Sense, where I describe fragrances for you in all five senses so you get a better feel and vibe for them. And I have for you today something from Latafa that's been out for a while, but um, I haven't recorded a video for it. So many of you already own it and I would love your feedback at the end of the video and what you think about it. And this is a Nebras by Latafa. This is the box that it comes in and it is beautiful for gift presentations if you're looking to get somebody a gift. It has a textured front to it, almost like a leather-like quality, and it says Nebras on the side. Also an authentication sticker in the front over here or on the back. Um, you want to look for that when you're buying Latafa to make sure it is genuine and it's not a knockoff. The bottle itself is a matte black, has a little sticker on the bottom with a gorgeous gold plaque on it. I love this. I think it feels great. It's super heavy. And overall, um, if you are on any of the Facebook groups for fragrances, you're probably sick to death of me posting about this one. This one is one of my personal favorites, and I rarely give personal opinions on what's a good one or what's a bad one, but this one I happen to enjoy a lot. Um, as far as fragrances go, this to me is like the rebound lover of the fragrance world. It's luxurious. It's sultry. It's soft. It's rich. It's decadent, and it just feels right. And I will give you the note breakdown um, in all the five senses, not the traditional way, so you can get a really good feel for it. And um, with Middle Eastern fragrances, the first thing that I touch about, uh, touch upon about is whether they have a Middle Eastern vibe to them or not. And in this case, uh, meaning is it oud centric or is it spice centric? In this case, it is not. And I did for the purpose of the review, six sprays on skin. And um, originally when I wrote this up, it was in 50 degree weather. So this gives you an idea of how it behaves in that type of a climate. Um, I've had this for a little bit over a year now, and it stays relatively the same from the time of purchase to after a year of sitting. Uh, may have gotten a little bit richer, a little bit deeper, but not much change to it. So Middle Eastern vibe, no. For the dry down, um, it took about an hour to dry down and completely evolve. And I have to note that this is quite important in this one because it does fluctuate from the beginning to the end. And my description on it is based on the dry down of it, meaning towards the end of the fragrance, not the opening. The opening does have a floral note to it. Um, I would describe it as a rich, juicy, almost type of a jammy rose type of a feeling to it. However, it dissipates and then what I am going to be describing for you is more towards the end stages or at least an hour after wear, which is why I bring up how long the dry down takes. And longevity on this one is a 10 out of 10. A complete Netflix binge as far as I'm concerned. It lasts over 10 hours on skin into the next day on clothing. And projection is also a 10 out of 10 for me. It's a room filler. And I did six sprays um, typically on skin without putting it on clothes and it fills up a room and it projects beautifully. The time niche on this I think is pretty appropriate for fall and winter and evening and nighttime because it is a little bit of a richer scent. It's got a little bit of a heaviness and a denseness to it. So I think it's very soothing and comforting in the cooler weather and I think it's appropriate for evening wear. On the test trip, when I um, smelled for the dry down on the test trip, because that's what it's most likely going to do on your clothing, I got a vanilla forward, um, vanilla forward more than a chocolate forward uh, profile to it, which is a little bit different than you get on skin. So be aware of that. So if you spray it on clothing, you're more likely to bring out the vanilla notes and those will project a little bit stronger than the other notes that do on skin for the taste for the five senses. I got a black forest chocolate cake from this one. Um, a lot of people get a lot of vanilla cake to it. I personally got more of a chocolate um, type of a sense to it, but you can't really have a chocolate cake without vanilla added to it. So they kind of go hand in hand. Also the Queen Anne dark chocolate cordial cherries, um, the the ones that you find in your local drugstores, the, the, the cheap ones that have been around since the 70s probably. It has that kind of a taste profile to it. And also Chambord liqueur, but the black raspberry one. 
they have, I think, more than one. But it comes in that round bottle, and if uh, you've ever smelled it, this is very similar in that type of uh, uh, black raspberry, uh, dark, rich essence of, uh, of a liqueur to it. For sight, I got Elvira in a fur coat, if you guys remember what Elvira uh, looked like. Um, if you don't look her up, you'll understand, but it's kind of that vibe in a fur coat. Also a matte finish maroon lipstick type of a vibe to it for sight or warm candle glow in a blacked out room. So um, it has this kind of a sultry and a um, warming, soothing, comforting, um, sexy type of a vibe to it. And for uh, the sound, I got Leonard Cohen, I'm Your Man, and also a cello sonata, but Edvard Grieg. Uh, look that up and you'll get a good vibe for what this sounded like to me. Also a bass saxophone. And um, Chris Cornell's cover of Nothing Compares to You. Kind of a raspy, deep, uh, sultry type of a feel to it. For the smell, this to me reminded me of a tiramisu served with a cherry cordial um, cocktail on the side and a Godiva chocolate store. If you've ever walked into one of those that was in the mall uh, years ago, you had uh, the, the bonbons, the chocolate covered strawberries that were laid out on the countertops. It's that type of a vibe to it. And for ch the, the touch, I, I, I felt like it was like soft and luxurious, like chinchilla fur, uh, super soft and rich and deep as well, or a handful of your lover's flesh. You just, it's, it's just got something about it that has a sultry feel to it. Um, it also evokes the feelings of like a French kiss. So again, very deep, luxurious, and overall embracing type of a scent. Um, I think it is beautifully blended. It lends itself to layering with other fragrances if you do do that. Um, I have layered it with rose scented uh, fragrances with oud heavy scents, uh, scents and also with chocolate like Chaka Musk. It blends beautifully with that. And also if you have uh, anything with caramel, it also works beautifully. I think it is a unisex fragrance. Um, men can definitely pull this off. I think it works really well in an intimate setting. Um, I wouldn't overspray it. I, I think it can be a little bit overwhelming if you do do that. Overall, great blended fragrance. The price has gone back down on it um, since it's been released because at one time it was hyped up to hell and back and the price has skyrocketed. So at this point, the prices in the U.S. have gone back down to a reasonable um, price point, in, in my opinion. So if you own this one, let me know what you think about it. Also, do you layer this? Do you wear it with anything else? And what your experience has been as far as projection, longevity, and everything else? I want to hear what you have to say about it as well. In the meantime, I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Please do subscribe. It helps support the channel. And I appreciate the time you spent with me. So thank you so much. And until next time, take care of yourselves.